Okay, today I'm going to tell you how you can achieve the effortless glam makeup look that so many famous people are walking around with these days. The number of times that I receive requests for a makeup tutorial that is very, it's like basically almost always the exact same thing, but it's tailored to like a certain person. It's like the Kendall Jenner makeup, uh, the Hailey Bieber makeup, uh, Monica Belushi is one that I've been receiving a lot recently. We so often look at these like incredibly beautiful people, these celebrities, and we're like, I need to know how they do their makeup because I wanna do it on me. Now, something that you have to keep in mind, we'll use me as an example. I don't look anything like Kendall Jenner, okay? Not even a little bit. There are certain aspects of those celebrity makeup looks that you can kind of like apply to basically every single face, but if you're someone who has like extremely hooded eyes, you already know that like the tiny little, that tiny little wing that they all do, very difficult to achieve. The reason that you love those looks on those people is because those looks are incredibly tailored to those people. But I'm going to tell you how you can do this for yourself. If you're ever looking at a celebrity and you're like, I know they're wearing a lot of makeup. I know she's wearing like this big smoky eye, but it looks so effortless on her. And you're like, but when I do it, it looks so crazy. There is one thing in particular that you should be paying attention to. And that is the value of the colors that you are working with. When I say value, uh, I'm referring to the contrast. So for instance, I use this example a lot, but if you squint, squint at me right now, you can kind of see that when you squint, my top starts to like blend into the background a little bit more. Obviously not the color, they're both different colors, you know, and we got like an orangey brown going on back here and an olive green. But when you squint, these start to become closer and I just kind of end up being like just a floating head with hands. <laughs> when you squint, you can see that like my hair color and my skin color, pretty similar, right? Hair color versus shirt color, very different. Uh, now I'm talking about the contrast. Obviously they're all different colors, but we're talking about the value of each, how dark it is and how versus how light it is. I have some photo examples that I wanna go through really quick before I actually demonstrate. All right, we're gonna scroll through these celebs slash some influencers. Some of these people, I'm not entirely sure if I am not smart and I don't remember to like reverse search these images, uh, some of these are influencers whose like thumbnails I saw. Please let me know who they are in the comments down below so that I can link them. Um, so the first one that we're, we're gonna start off with is, I almost said Bella Hadid. What's her name? Ailey Bieber, very clean looking, glossy lid, you know, pretty flushed lips, looks pretty like effortless, I would say. Okay, this beautiful model uh, looks like a navy eyeshadow, navy eye, uh, smoky eye with some like maybe pale blue, up here, uh, kind of a frosted pink lip. We got this beauty right here, uh, clearly wearing a full face, beautiful glossy lip. She's got like a smoky eye with a um, little bit of a cat eye wing. Uh, I know this is Danessa Myrick's work. I always see this Danessa, the uh, model in Danessa Myrick's work. She's got beautiful smoky like jewel toned eye going on, matte skin, glossy lip. Rihanna, stunning as usual. When we zoom in a little bit close, you can kind of see that she's got this like really beautiful like golden shimmer happening on the lid. She's got like something happening in the crease, a little bit more of like a warm, uh, warm brown, uh, matte lip, very like cool toned. This beautiful girl, I believe this is Hung Van Gogh's work. This beautiful girl right here, smoky eye, like rimmed, soft, smoky eye. Uh, she's definitely got eyeshadow on the lids. Beautiful kind of like mauve lip. Hailey Bieber once again, golden smoky eye, definitely liner along the upper part of her um, lash line, Bron very bronzy in the skin. She has like pretty flush cheeked cheeks, which kind of translates into the same color as the lips. This girl, juicy skin, beautiful bronzed nude juicy lip. Uh, and she has like very much that cat eyeliner happening. And then finally we are ending with once again, Hailey Bieber, because she comes up a lot in um, requests. She has this really beautiful, almost lilac-y kind of like pink color on dusted on her lids with a little bit of that like soft wing. And then you have some of those like pinky cooler tones, sort of like pastel-y shades translated onto like the cheeks. Looks like the top of the nose. Can't really tell, there might be a filter on this. And then um, 
onto the lips. So I will tell you really, we'll scroll through these. What do all of these looks have in common? What do all of these looks have in common for all these different skin tones, all these different faces, what all of these looks have in common. And I'm going to go to this one because it's such a perfect example. The value of the makeup that they are placing on these models is not that different from their skin tone. Again, not the color. If we look at this gorgeous model, she has this beautiful, like warm chocolatey skin. She's wearing this like dark teal eyeshadow. If you put that color on me, it is going to be a straight up, almost black smoky eye, okay? On her skin tone, it looks, it gives this beautiful pop to the eyes because you have that kind of like contrast between like the cool tone of like the bluish teal and the warmth in her skin. But because the value of that color is not that drastic compared to her actual skin tone, while it is striking, it looks more effortless. It looks like it's just blending into her skin. It doesn't look as stark as if you put this color on me. Same thing with this model. She has this beautiful caramely kind of colored skin, but she has dark hair, super dark hair, right? Dark brows, dark eye um, eyelashes. So she has kind of like a purpley foil shadow happening in her like very inner corner, which transitions into that gold color, which kind of like um, emulates her skin tone. And then it fades into a deeper matte kind of like brown smoky eye uh that once again if you put that on my skin tone is going to be super striking extreme like very very stark the contrast between that those colors on my pale ass skin on her it's beautiful it is striking but it doesn't seem like it's too overwhelming on her skin tone because again, all of those values, you see them in her coloring. I see the highlight of the gold in the highlights on her skin. I see when I squint, I can see some of that like perp, the value of the purple in the shadows of her skin. And then that deep, as we move towards that like deeper brown color on the outer part of her eyes and also maybe a little bit of that like eyeliner at her lash line, we're starting to move closer to her hair color. And then I just love this example as well because it's, um, it's a great exa example of color, using a matte color on the lid. When you squint at her, it all just kind of like blends together. Like it's not there, you don't have those harsh transitions between colors or contrast. What we want to take into account is our coloring. So let's take me for example. Uh, I am very, very pale. I have kind of like a cool toned blonde dark, taupey, blonde kind of thing happening. Obviously this is not my real hair color. Uh, my natural hair color is kind of like a dark, dark blonde. Um, I would say it's like a little bit more on the warm side. So what I want to kind of like stick with is my eyebrow color because it's basically the same as like my lash color and you know, when my roots are coming in, I kind of want to stick within that, like somewhere between a little bit lighter than my actual skin tone to a little bit darker than like I don't know, that part of my hair. So the way that you can achieve this is by using the value of colors and contrasts that you already have in your skin and hair color. When I'm talking about hair, I'm not just talking about like the hair on your head because like maybe you dye your hair purple, you know what I mean? I'm talking about your eyebrows, I'm talking about your eyelashes, um, I'm talking about your eye color as well. So you wanna think in terms of accents when it comes to your lights and darks, and you want to think of like your overall, whatever your overall color, your base color is going to be, is going to be kind of like an amalgam of whatever the average of those colors are. So when I kind of like squint at myself, it's gonna be probably a little bit darker than my skin tone, but lighter than my like hair color. So if you are someone who is very, very, very pale like me, but you have dark hair, dark eyelashes, dark eyebrows, you are going to be able to get away with using something that is like that color uh, on your eyes a lot better than me. It's gonna stand out a lot more on me. So going in with like a dark brown or a dark black eyeliner to like rim my eyes and then smoke it out, it's going to look a lot more like disconnected from me than it is from you because it's colors that are already existing in your anatomy. Okay, so I'm just priming my eyes uh, with my Hindash Color Fluid and Canvas and uh, Urban Decay Primer Potion to prep. 
Some of the easiest ways that you can create a makeup look that is going to work with you, obviously, is to use products that you're already using on the rest of your face, right? So your contour, your bronzer, your blush, maybe you apply your contour product in your crease, uh, your blush on your lid, maybe you like builds it up or you blend with your bronzer, whatever. It ends up making things look very cohesive. You already know that it works with your skin because you're using it on the rest of your face. Incorporating the things that you are already using around the rest of your face, uh, it just helps to kind of like ground those other colors and make it look like it's it's meant to be with your skin. So let's do that then. I'm gonna start off with the Refer 15 brush. This is a big blending brush. I'm gonna use um, my typical powder contour. This is from Etude. Oh, I think it's the lightest one. I will link it. It comes with two shades. I'm just going to mix these two shades. I typically just use this one for my contour. So I'm gonna use this just to build in a little bit of contrast around my eye socket and then blend that up and out towards my eyebrow. So this is like somewhere between my skin tone and my eyebrow color in terms of value. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone, not really that much. And we already know that this color works nicely with my skin because I use it as a contour for the rest of my face. I'm gonna use the E36 from Sigma. I'm gonna use that same little concoction and I'm gonna blend that on the lower lash line to define this part of my eye. Okay, so now that we have this as kind of like our guide, uh, I'm gonna work kind of like around these colors. So I'm going to use the color of uh, my eyebrows, my eyelashes, and also you can see I have like, I mean, relatively dark eyes. I have like a nice like ring, um, dark kind of like greenish ring around my iris. So I'm gonna use those as my like accent colors. My eyeliner, I'm gonna stick to like the darkest areas. So for my eyeliner, I'm gonna use the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Glide Eye Pencil. This is in the shade Renaissance Gold. I'm gonna place this all along my lash line and thicken that up towards the outer part. And then using my Refer 02 brush, I'm gonna press that along my lash line and then soften out here at the outer corner. So we're starting to add a little bit of shimmer, but I'm working with the tones that I already have in my skin and hair. And shirt, <laughs> that also helps. I'm gonna drag that onto the outer corner of my lower lash line and smoke that close to my lash line. So slowly bringing it in, but keeping it like along the lash line. Then blend up and out. Okay, so you can see as I build up this color and especially as I blend it out, the value you can keep like kind of squinting to compare. Value is very similar to my eyebrow color. Now when it comes to trying to figure out like a signature makeup look or trying to figure out like what is going to be your effortless glam look, it's not just about color or contrast. It also has a lot to do with shape. So whatever you think is the best shape for your anatomy, for your eyes, for your face, don't copy some celebrity just because it looks beautiful on them because you probably don't look like them. Everybody has different faces and different things look better on different people. So whatever you think is the best placement for you, you wanna stick with that shape. If that means a halo eye, do a halo eye. If that means a cat eye, do a cat eye. Okay, I'm gonna grab the Smith 233 brush this little blender right here, and then I'm gonna go into the Hindash Butopsy palette. I'm gonna mix between these two, I'm gonna mix between these two shades right here, feel and real, <laughs> right in between. And I'm gonna carve around my eye socket. So you can see, obviously, as I'm like building my look, I'm slowly building up the contrast of each application and color all while maintaining within that color palette, within the color palette that already exists in my face. 
I'm just going in with Feel Unreal underneath that eyeliner just to marry those two colors. And then I'm going to place it on the very inner corner of the eye, of the lid, I mean. Okay, and now for my lid, uh, I want to do something really, really intense, but I'm going to keep it within these colors and also within the contrast of my skin tone. So I'm going to pick up from the Danessa Myricks Lightwork Volume 3 palette. Uh, what is this? Soul? I'm gonna grab Soul, which is a super foiled shadow. And I'm gonna place this all over my lid. And in my waterline, I'm gonna go in with this um, ColourPop eyeliner. I don't even know if this is still available. It's the shade Wildcat. Okay, and then for my inner corner and a little bit of brow bone highlight, I'm gonna use Becca uh, Champagne Pop because I used it on my cheeks. And I'm actually bringing a little bit of that into my um, under eye because I think it's something that I'm gonna start doing now. <laughs> you don't have to do this part. All right guys, I just applied some mascara um, and I kind of like touched up my lip a little bit. Uh, so this is the finished eye. Take a look, take a look. Thoughts, how do we feel? Now I'm wearing some bold colors, okay? We like went in. I have foil on my lids right now. I've got shimmer in my inner corner. I've got shimmer on my waterline, but we worked within a color scheme that I knew would be flattering because it's contained in my eyes and also on my top, you know, uh, green. But more importantly, we, we paid close attention to the contrast. I'm not wearing any black. I'm not wearing any like stark whites. Uh, and because of that, these bold products kind of just like blend in perfectly with the rest of my coloring. So I can wear these products and make a statement, but it's not overwhelming. It doesn't look like too much. Now that's not to say that I can't wear black, girl. I'm gonna wear black eyeliner. I'm gonna wear black eyeshadow, okay? Like you can do it all, but if you are specifically going for this like signature effortless glam makeup and you want to be able to experiment with some colors and not just use your like contour shade all over your lid, then this is, this is how you should do it. These are the things that you need to keep in mind. I know that it can be like so frustrating when you are looking at specific people and you're like, oh, this looks so good on them. I want to do it. You just have to keep in mind that you can, you can do it, but it might not translate the same way on you unless you have the exact same coloring or, you know, like face shape or eye shape or something. Uh, so just remember that you like, you gotta do those little tweaks to make it work for you. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. If there are any specific celebrity looks that you really want me to recreate, I know I mentioned doing Megan the Stallion. Definitely wanna do that. Uh, and I think I had like a couple people respond to that. Let me know what you wanna see because I love recreating celebrity looks. It's like kind of one of my favorite things. Um, but make it fun. I've done so many neutral looks recently. I'm like, I'm dying for color. Like I'm about, I'm this close to doing just like a bright red smoky eye just cause I'm bored. <laughs> uh, all right guys, good times. And thumbs up and subscribe and all the things so you don't miss it, whatever. And if you're like, what did you do on your base? Uh, I got so many base videos up in here. So they're around, check out the channel if you're new. Uh, and I will see you next time, my friend. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.